Now then, YouTube, welcome back to Derby County Creamwood, where I am fed up with this game already. We are two games in to this, um, this is the third, uh, two games in to this recording session. And there's been three bullshit games in a row. Fortunately, one of them, we won 3-0 against Leeds, but it was still bullshit as fuck. I was hoping... Um, I was hoping that, you know, coming off for a little while, then coming back on, had reset the script, but I've come back on, and it is more scripted than ever. And it's poor. Lovely. Joel Linton, good run. Oh, my word. Good strike, we've hit the bar early on. Positive start. But yeah, but yeah, my head is frazzled with them last two games. The, uh, the amount of bullshit in them, the how sluggish my team feel, despite being fully fucking fit. And we've won a throw there. Well, really well done from Contreras. Suarez over to Daniel Ricky. Siankov, Joel Linton, Dubois. Ricky, Joel Linton. He hit the bar earlier. That time he's hit the fucking goalkeeper. Took one too many touches. This is it. I'll admit that sooner. <laughs> but because that was, that was my fault, I'm going to admit. But I'll tell you why. Because of how much bullshit and how shit the shooting has been from my team and the scripting that's been happening in this game. I've, you know, I got unnecessarily close there. Mainly because... I didn't trust that he'd be able to score from very far out because of the bullshit that's been going off and the, the shitness of shooting and the lot. Good attempt to ball from use of that, by the way, into the right sort of area. He hadn't to ball, unfortunately. Couldn't get it. Unfortunately, that's absolutely wank from Spurs. Lovely throw. Oh, where did you come from? He was fucking... Unmarked, there were no r white dots anywhere, or oh, sorry, blue dots, blue triangles, anywhere near him when I. Oh, what a save that is. Yellow card for Contreras. Um, but yeah, there was no one anywhere near him when I threw that. Joel Linton's got to win that. Oh, fuck off. Good save. Out for another corner. And again, inexcusably poor touch. The control took far too long to do, just get the touch down for foot seat. Well done, Siankov. How do you know? This is what I mean. And this is why my head is very slowly being lost that there as well what a save that is hang on maybe that's why the bottom keeper's taking the bastard corner quick get rid oh, got the ball ref you fucking dealt Of the shot's rubbish. Half time is ten minutes away. Lovely from Joel Linton. Shit cunt again. Oh, look at that shit touch as well. Oh my god. May as well two for all the cunts from behind, because whether it's a good tackle or a bad tackle, I'm getting a free kick given against me. Good from Ricky. So the bad news is, like the last three games, or like, like, uh, like the last two games in this recording session, we aren't, we are drawing at half time. But the bad news is, as you can see there again, due to the bullshit, we have been limited massively. Spurs, who were 
next to bottom in the table. And bullshit time goal, 50 minutes after it should have gone in. For the first time today, we are behind at half time, not level. Scripting time, bullshit, and it just fucking carries on. And it is not ending for us. That's the worry. There is absolutely no end in sight that scripting and these cunts at EA are in no means finished with fucking with me on this career mode. Suarez as well. Keeps it in too. Lovely. Nusa. Suarez. Pogba. Pogba. I can only assume that the only reason that Spurs are so low in the table is not because they haven't got the quality, because, um, you know, Kane's fucking ripped us a new one. And they've created plenty of chances, but the keeper there moves out the way of the shot and is taking corners. Nice little calm ball inside, outside the foot, smashed into the top right corner. And Pogba, like I said a few episodes ago, is settling into this team nicely. And that shows it. That's a bullet, and that's 1-1. One, one. Shoot from range a bit more, I'd say, from what the keeper's shown so far. Pogba, Nusa, Dubois there, Dubois making a stupid run, Shulinton, what's a good save, good pass, and Nusa's ball in, Dubois, Shulinton, shit cunt, he's off, and as good as he's been, so is Pogba, Anana and Uga Chukwu with their strength and pace in midfield, I believe, against slightly tiring legs, could really help us out here. Pogba, great goal, but... Yeah. Joe Linton, he's off with that touch. But Pogba, very good again. Well, we're down to the last 16 now, so plenty to play for in that game. Great save. The only thing part uh, about that attempt was there's absolutely nothing I could do with just a decent touch. Partey, lovely. Noosa. Fresh legs. Or freshest legs. Noosa! Get in! For the first time in today's recording session, an hour into it, we are ahead. Noosa just ran, 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 and he finishes. I stopped sprinting, took a touch, composed myself. Side foot, placement, finesse, bottom corner. Lovely. Asensio denied. Fantastically well. Araujo and Neymar coming on. Mainly because of the uh, Ricky, uh, Daniel Ricky and um, Noosa are both knackered. They're bringing on Kingsley Coleman for uh, Alfie Devine. So, yeah, that's not any easier. And that's the job for Miguel Araujo. At least it's fresh legs against fresh legs. Noosa and Ricky off. Araujo and Neymar on. We have half of the second half to go. We've shown great character and spirit against the bullshit of EA. Constantly looking for an option, but guess what? What the fuck? A quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Tottenham Hotspur facing Aston Villa. That looks oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. And that explains a lot to why Tottenham are near the bottom. The keeper was upfield, and they've got fucking... A, 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 a I don't know who that is, number two, whether that is. They've got a, a midfielder or defender, isn't it? 
and this change formation and absolutely crazily because I assume of his quality outfield they've got their goalkeeper on the wing ever since Coleman come on Neymar, Anana. Just hit it at them because he isn't going to catch anything. Good block, have to be. He caught that one. On site. Nice little touch from the keeper. Making a bit of headway. Lovely. And it comes down to the final five minutes. No foul. Bullshit again, but fortunately, a bit of EA ridiculousness helps us out. For once, they've done some crazy and in our favour there. Dubois, lovely. Neymar, lovely. Suarez, Siankov. Dubois, signed and sealed. 4-1 win here. And well... EA's and Tottenham's stupidity is what gave us the win there. It was a tough first half an hour. We went behind again, but then they decided to put an outfield player in there, and to be fair, even if they didn't, I don't think he'd have saved that. Really good goal. Yet another for Yannick Dubois. And that's four goals, and that's three points. And after the defeat against Aston Villa and the draw against Basel, Back to winning ways is a big relief, no matter how it comes about. 4-1 win at home against Tottenham, who for some reason decided to put their goalkeeper on the wing. They went 1-0 up in bullshit time on the stroke of half-time. There where Contreras just decided not to bother. And then just after half-time. Lovely from Suarez, one touch, second touch, then the third, right foot, outside foot, top bin as you like. Noosa, lovely, ran, 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 kept running. <laughs> Clearly, this was must have been just like a five-a-side thing. Keep conceded two, then he thought, fuck it, I'm not staying in net anymore. And he gave the responsibility to the number two. Dubois touched it, struck it, scored it. And then Dubois got a second late on. Araujo to an Ugachukwu, Ugachukwu to Dubois, one touch, struck it right into the corner and that is three points for us evenish game but <laughs> they didn't have a keeper in net um, keepers on the wing what was a bit crazy and up next a cup I desperately want to win the Carabao Cup and we're in the round 16 and we're at home so let's get revenge since they defeated us in the league on them in the cup like subscribe take care and I'll see you next episode for that cheers bye bye